Hey guys, hope everybody is doing amazing today. We got another killer video for you guys. Thank you for coming by and spending a little time with me today. This is going to be a good one. We have some pops. Yes, it's a Funko Pop channel and we've got some pops. And these pops date back to December 2021, where I bought them on clearance for five bucks, Walmart and Amazon. And we did a video on those like in May of 2022, and we revealed the values of them. And I said at some point we were going to check back in with these pops and see where they stood now, because we were trying to see, is it worth it to buy all these pops on clearance? Are they going to go up? How likely are they to go up? I don't know. We got 12 pops. Let's see how much these pops have went up since we bought them for $5. So guys, going by the order of the original video, which I will link down below, and I'll link up here, okay? We have 12 pops, starting with the Peacemaker from the Suicide Squad, John Cena himself. Um, I'm very surprised that you can see him, but I guess in this form you can. Very cool pop from the Suicide Squad. We got him for five bucks. When we did the first video, he was worth 19 and as of today, he is still worth $19. Now, that was still a uh, come up off of the original five, but since the initial video, we haven't gained any profits or lost any off of John Cena, the Peacemaker. All right, the next one we got is Captain Marvel Mech Strike. Now, this is a pretty cool line. Um, I do have the uh, glow-in-the-dark Captain America. But uh, this one is just not something I'd keep in my collection. But this one, when we bought it for five, was worth nine bucks. We got a little come up of four bucks. And today, he's still worth nine dollars. All right. On to the next one, which was the Stewardess. This one is the Stewardess with the white bag. We picked this one up for five bucks. It was worth fifteen dollars when we filmed it at the filmed it at that time, it is now worth $12. So we lost $3 on the value since the last video. All right, we got another Pan Am Stewardess. Surprise, surprise that these were on clearance. This one right here was also worth $15 on the first video, five months after we bought them. And now today... <laughs> Worth $4, so we've lost $11 on this pop. So, this pop is worth $4. All right, the next one was from Gotcha Man, the anime. This was Joe the Condor. This was one in that video I said, maybe if you get this and hang on to it, it looks like one that'll be worth something. So let's see, when I purchased him, he was $5. He was worth $9, and now, today, guys, he's worth $10. bucks. we are up a dollar. Look at that. We got the first one that we're up a dollar. That makes up for the dollar we're down, so we're pretty much even. All right, the next one is Montez Ford, one of the Street Profits. If you guys watched Elimination Chamber on Saturday, you saw him put on a wonderful, wonderful show for the U.S. title, did some amazing dives, uh, ended up getting injured, which obviously is a work, and hopefully it leads to other title shots. We got Montez Ford, and at the time we got him, he was immediately worth $11, and today he is still worth eleven dollars guys all right the next one we got is from marvel infinity warps and this is diamond patch now when we got diamond patch he was worth 10 bucks and guys today mr diamond patch still worth 10 bucks <laughs> So next one we had was the last video we did. This was the biggest come up. We got the 2021 Summer Convention Limited Exclusive Disney It's a Small World Mexico. This is definitely a cool pop. Uh, one of these is staying in my collection. The time of the last video was worth 25. It's went down a little bit and now it's worth $16. 
still up over the original value, but we've lost $9. So, all right, guys, the next one would be one of my favorites, the Cobra Bat. This one is sick. He was definitely on clearance. I, as a G.I. Joe fan, was afraid I wouldn't get one, but they were plentiful. And um, this one was worth $10 at the time we filmed the video, so we doubled our money. But he is now worth $11, so we're up $1 on him. That's fantastic. So, guys, the next one we got is Nathan Morris from Boys to Men. Motown Phillies back again. A very, very cool pop. He was worth 13 at the time of the last video. And as of today, he is still worth $13. Has he reached the end of the road? I had to get one more in. I had to get one more in. All right, then we got Asuka. If you guys watched Elimination Chamber on Saturday, she won the Elimination Chamber match, and she will be fighting Bianca Belair at WrestleMania for the title. Well-deserved, Asuka. And at the time that we did this first video, she was worth 9 bucks, and uh, today she's still worth $9. And last but not least, the man himself, Drew McIntyre. At the time we got him, he was worth $17. He's worth $12. So we went down five bucks. So guys, on this lot of pops, we got 12 pops. We didn't really make any money. We didn't lose that much money since we paid $5 each. But making the gamble on hoping these become future grails just may happen in the future, but you can see how it goes. So as I always say, guys, please make sure to collect because you love it. And because you love what you're collecting, regardless of the value. Because if you go and collect only for value, you might get lucky one out of a hundred times. But you'll have a collection of stuff you just don't like. So guys, these pops don't owe me anything. They're all worth more than the initial $5 clearance. But to get somebody to buy them for that is a little bit harder. And um, we just pretty much broke even. But guys, I promised you an update later on. This was the update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody have a wonderful day. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below. You want me to do it again? Let's find out. Guys, have a wonderful one. But for now, this video is over. And Beard of Pops, out.